Here are the instructions for playing Blockly. When you open up the screen, you're going to start with Puzzle, which is in the far left. This should be fairly easy to do. It's just to teach you to link the pieces where they belong. So you read always the instructions, especially when we get further on, because they often contain hints that you will use. So in this case, it says, for each animal, attach the picture, choose the number of legs, and make a stack of its traits. So here we have the bee, for example, and I'll drag the picture of the bee over here. And then I will choose that the bee has four legs. And I will say that the bee has feathers. And I'm going to continue to do that with all of these. Once you're done, you check to see if you're correct by clicking on check answers. It's telling me that I have some things that are wrong, which of course are true. So I want to go through and fix it. But if you are correct, it will say they're all correct. And once that's done, you move on to the next level. The next level is called Maze. In Maze, you can choose your character. It defaults to this one that looks like it's on Google Maps. Or you can decide you want to be an astronaut or a panda bear. They're all pretty much the same. Now, you may have seen something like this before, an hour of code or something else. This is telling me that I want to get my character to the destination, which is this kind of red symbol. So this is giving me a hint on the first one, dragging this and saying into this. This is your program window. Two move forward steps. One, two. Should get him to his destination. I click on one program. One, two. Yay, he does a little dance. And this shows you what the actual code is that you wrote. You don't need to really worry about that. So once you finish that, it'll take you to the next level. Now this one, I've got more options and I'm gonna drag in what I need. This is gonna be a move forward and then you gotta figure out what's he gonna do next. Is he gonna turn left or right and move forward, etc. Now these will get progressively more difficult until you get to something that looks more like this and they'll be instructing you. And the really hard one, which is number 10, 